coming up, prohibitions and restrictions. What awaits Kazakh citizens who have declared themselves bankrupt? How to improve domestic public procurement system? Stay tuned to find out what solution Kazakh IT innovators came up with. The tale of how actress Bai Ling, boxer Roy Jones and cyclist Alexander Vinokurov painted one picture. The Kazakh art project entered the Guinness World Records. Kazakh President Kasim Jumar Tokayev will pay a working visit to Russia at the invitation of the Russian leader Vladimir Putin, Tokayev's press secretary Berik Wali announced. The two presidents will hold talks in Moscow on February 10th. At the meeting, the parties will discuss state and development trends of a multifaceted Kazakh-Russia strategic partnership, issues of integrative cooperation in the Eurasian space and current international problems. In addition, on February 11th, Kasim Jumar Tokayev will meet with President of Tatarstan Rustam Minikhanov in Kazan and visit several large industrial enterprises of the state. Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan will establish the Inter-Parliamentary Cooperation Council. The corresponding agreement was signed by the speakers of the chambers of parliaments of the two countries. According to the chairperson of the Uzbekistan's legislative chamber, Nordinjon Ismoilov, the intensification of the inter-parliamentary dialogue will directly serve to increase the potential for political, economic, cultural and humanitarian interaction and strengthen friendship between the nations. The parties also spoke about the further development of the strategic partnership. Since our countries gained independence, they have supported each other and have laid a solid foundation for the stable development of cooperation in all sectors. The establishment of the Council will give new content to the interaction between the two states for legislative support of the agreements reached between the heads of the two countries inclusively. This is a new format for the first time in the history of our relations. This is a new format of our cooperation. This means a lot. My colleague is right. This is aimed at organizing those agreements reached during a visit of our president to Kazakhstan in December last year. The parliament should therefore make their contribution there. Kazakhstan again sees an increase in COVID-19 cases. 3,231 new cases of coronavirus infection were detected over the past day. Almaty still has the high single-day case count. More than 900 infected people have been recorded there. Karaganda region takes the second place with 371 cases. And the capital closes the top three. 359 coronavirus patients were registered in Nur Sultan. In general, since the beginning of the pandemic, the number of coronavirus cases detected in the country has exceeded 1,200,000. 79,000. According to the country's Minister of Health, currently more than 79,000 Kazakh residents continue to receive treatment for coronavirus. More than 9,000 of them are in hospitals. Today, over 8,832,000 people in Kazakhstan have been fully vaccinated with two components. The coronavirus continues to spread rapidly in Germany. More than 100,000 infected people are registered in the country every day. Just last week, the number of patients per day exceeded 250,000, but the figures may double, virologists say. According to them, the peak incidence in Germany will be in mid-February. Due to the deterioration of the epidemiological situation, the Minister of Health does not yet plan to lift restrictions on the coronavirus. Compared to Denmark, significantly fewer citizens have been vaccinated in Germany, less than 75 percent of the population. I am surprised by politicians talking about the broad easing of quarantine measures. We are not even at the peak of the incidence of this wave. Almost every day 100-150 people die from coronavirus, which is a lot. With the help of the measures introduced, we manage to more or less control this wave. If we weaken everything now, we risk being in a difficult situation again.
China has come up with a new way to detect coronavirus. The biosensor detects COVID-19 in four minutes. This is a special electromechanical sensor of microscopic size built into the gadget. The effectiveness of the device was proven through a series of tests in which more than 80 people took part. The test results obtained with the help of the new device fully coincided with the results of the PCR test. According to the developers, in the future it will be possible to use it at airports, clinics, emergency rooms and even at home. Heavy snowfall and subsequent weather warm-up led to the descent of more than 100 avalanches in the mountains of Austria in just three days. As a result, at least nine people who came to the ski resorts of Chiro were killed. Local government considers the situation dangerous and unpredictable. Since the weather service predicts continued snowfall and strong winds in the region, the risk of avalanches has been increased to four out of five. Kazakhstan sets to introduce three types of bankruptcy procedures for individuals. First, Vice Minister of Finance Marat Sultagaziev explained that, for example, an out-of-court procedure will be available to those who could not repay their debts within 12 months. In this case, the amount should not exceed 300,000 tenge, and there should be no property at the expense of which it is possible to repay the debt. In addition, citizens whose debt is less than 5 million tenge and the debt payment is overdue for no more than six months can begin bankruptcy proceedings. The procedure for solvency provides provides for the possibility of obtaining installments in court to pay debts for up to five years if a person has a stable income. The so-called judicial bankruptcy will be applied by citizens for outstanding debts over 5 million tenge. Some experts have proposed banning bankrupts from holding public positions or positions in financial institutions. These issues will be considered, the vice minister added. <laughs> During this procedure, a debtor's property is subject to sale at auction. The proceeds are used to repay debts to creditors in accordance with the established order. If the only housing is the subject of collateral, then the creditor will have the right to withdraw it only in the course of bankruptcy proceedings. If the only housing is not a pledge, creditors will not be able to claim it. The remaining outstanding amount is subject to write-off, provided there are no signs of dishonesty of the debtor. However, at the same time, alimony debts and damage caused to the life and health of another person Person are not subject to write off. Человека по списанию не подлежат. One of Kazakhstan's IT companies won two first places in the International Competition of Innovators, Innovation and Excellence Awards. In the final, our team of specialists bypassed the Public Procurement Service of the United Kingdom and representatives of one of the world leaders in the energy sector. Kazakhstan's project is aimed at identifying risk indicators at all stages of public procurement, from planning to payment. Our project was aimed at identifying economic corruption risks in public procurement. When the customer unreasonably restricts competition and tries to purchase goods without any tenders from his supplier at an inflated price, we catch such cases, highlight them and pass them on to the auditors so that they continue to carry out their inspections. The company is already working with the Prosecutor General's Office of the country, Atamike National Chamber of Entrepreneurs, the State Internal Audit Committee of the Finance Ministry, Kazakhstan Agency for Financial Monitoring, as well as with business and quasi-public sector. We help the state to save money on public procurement. We have already made several billion savings. It is important to ensure maximum transparency of all stages of public procurement in Kazakhstan. President Kasim Jomar Tokayev has spoken about this. I would like to pay special attention to the following moments. First, it is, of course, transparency of public procurement. I've been talking about this for the third year. So far, no serious results have been achieved here. New horizons of cooperation are ahead. Innovators are not going to stop and plan to implement the system in neighboring countries as well. Negotiations are already underway with the ministries of finance and economy of Azerbaijan and with the Court of Accounts of Moldova. Today, February 9th, marks the 91st birthday of great Kazakh writer and poet Mukagali Makhataev. He passed away 46 years ago, but his rich literary heritage is still alive in the hearts of admirers of his creative work. Mukagali Makhataev left a legacy of over 400 works of various genres. In honor of his memory, a special hall welcomes visitors in the capital's National Library. This <laughs> 
In this hall, all his books and works are stored in electronic format, which can be viewed through scanning a QR code. Since the hall is intended for creative events, various literary meetings are held here in order to popularize the heritage of Mukagali Makataev. Mukagali Makataev made a great contribution to the history of Kazakh literature. Thanks to his talent as a translator, such great pieces of world literature as sonnets by William Shakespeare, poems by Walter Whitman, and the Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri were translated in Kazakh. <laughs> We lived in a two-room house in Karasas village. I was 10 years old at the time, but I remember everything. One of the rooms was filled with my father's books. He was constantly working on them. My father was a very hard-working and talented man. We are trying to popularize the works of the great writer. The Kazakh art project Painting of the World entered the Guinness World Records book. It was presented at the National Pavilion at the Expo in Dubai. More than 2,000 visitors from 193 countries have laid their marks on the unusual canvas which attracted the attention of the entire world community. The painting has received international recognition as a project with the participation of the largest number of people using the brush and passing it to each other. Such famous people as Hollywood actress Bai Ling, American former boxer Roy Jones, Kazakh director Timur Bekmambi, and cyclist Alexander Vinokurov, as well as Russian singer Valeria, also left their pencil marks on the picture. The uniqueness of the project also lies in the size of the canvas, which is a reduced copy of the physical parameters of the globe. Its mission is to unite all the inhabitants of the planet. It is expected that a total of 2,020 people will leave their marks on the canvas. We want to bring it in Kazakhstan, Японию, и в Австралию, и в Америку. Это картина мира, и ее должен увидеть весь мир. Скоро состоится выставка, Art Dubai называется. We want to bring the painting to Kazakhstan, Japan, Australia and the US. The whole world should see this picture. The Art Dubai exhibition will be held soon, and we want to exhibit our painting there. There was a very interesting moment when the Japanese tourists viewed the painting with the great interest. They are preparing for an exhibition in Japan. Osaka will host Expo 2025. They also offered an interesting collaboration, so that we too can come up with collective, creative, large-scale ideas. И они предложили нам такую интересную коллаборацию, чтобы мы тоже что-нибудь такое коллективное, творческое, масштабное придумали. Поэтому будем готовиться к следующей выставке.